Hey guys, I'm warning back again with another 24 hour ration for you. Um, this one is an SRG4 um, and uh, on the front has the meal plan in it, um, which we'll go into in a second. Now, uh, this this is just under two kilos. Um, so, you know, it's it's quite a large package. Just So what I'll do is right now, I'll put a picture up of uh, the actual uh, English, or the, I'll put the page up, the whole label, the, so you'll be able to see what's exactly in here in case you can't hear me properly or you just want to know what's on there. Uh, it was manufactured on the 20th of uh, the 8th, 2015, expired at the 31st of the 8th, 2017. Sorry. Now, <clears throat> that was over a month ago. I've been meaning to do this for a month, so let's not delay it any longer. So let's open it up and have a look what we got. Okay, this is uh, quite a packed uh, box bag, uh, quite a lot in here, so should be interesting. Okay, so first item out of the box, or bag rather, should I say, is um, a fuel burner, uh, and a type of S-bit stove, uh, with six fuel tabs. Next up, we have some crackers. Uh, although that had an uh, expiry date of uh, the 8th, 2017, these actually expire in 2018. Then we have what I can only assume is the accessory pack. Uh, we've got one, two, three, four cups in here uh, from sweets, and it looks like coffees, um, teas, and whatever else uh, in there. But we'll go through that in a second. Uh, next, we have a one liter um, bag for chemical disinfection of drinking water. Sorry. That's that's the bag. It's got a nice little gusset at the bottom to stand up. Also have this bit of paper. Um, which it is in all Polish. Uh, I will put this here. Uh, I'll take some pictures in a second and put that out for everyone to see. Uh, I'll try and use something to translate it as well for us all. <clears throat> okay, next up we have a instant drink. So this is actually lemon flavoured tea. Something that I do like. Next we have a cutlery set of a knife a uh, fork and spoon. And we have some more teas. Uh, so we have a raspberry and another lemon. Another eating set. Then, oh my, wow. Um, there's no mistake what this is. This is uh, dark chocolate. It's a big old bar uh, with an expiry date of 7th of November this year, 2017. Uh, 100 grams. Look forward to trying that. By the way, I'm not looking in the bag, I'm just dipping in <laughs> and getting out. Uh, we have another instant tea. Which I believe is raspberry. 
Now we're on to some tins. Uh, this has a use by date of the 9th of January next year. I'm guessing what it is is under here. There we go. So this is chicken and pork. Like that. Well, this is quite a, a heavier tin. Uh, so look at the list. It's canned tyrolene. Uh, I hope I get that right. Um, I believe it's a, a sort of a mixture of, of meats. This has actually expanded. You can see it's, it's, it's bubbled. That's due to poor storage. Um, Probably my behalf. I mean, that's. Uh, I mean, I don't know if you guys can pick this up on the camera, but it's it's bubbling and there's quite a bit of pressure in this one. Um, uh, we might not even be able to try that. I mean, the cold can sort of distorted and bowing. We'll have a look. Uh, we have some more crackers again. Uh, expiry of June next year. Okay, so I'm I'm guessing by the picture on the front of this, this is honey. Looks really nice actually. Um, and we have a spoon and a fork. We have one of my favourite kind of things. It's a cereal fruit bar. Cranberry flavour. How about the cranberry? That should be an interesting taste. Uh, then we have the teeth breakers. <coughs> Special biscuits. I think we're nearly reaching the end. Well, this one's huge. I think this is probably the main... Uh, this looks like 19th for the 9th 2017 and this is a massive 300 gram can of something so quick look I'm guessing this is the pork neck with rusks uh, going by the weight of it um, as these two are really small I'm guessing that's breakfast that's dinner and this is this is lunch okay so this is the pork neck uh, in sauce with rusks uh, just as I thought it might be again these are all there's quite a bit of flavour in that uh, they're all pull, pull tabs and then we have a, another one which I don't think was on the list uh, so Another big one. This particular one is meatballs in vegetable sauce, which apparently is meal A. So I would assume that would be breakfast, but anyway, let's put that on there. That's got a few dents in that one. Uh, looks like it's at its fair share of uh, shipping abuse. Well, last, uh, last few things now. Uh, we've got some more special biscuits. Uh, another flavoured tea. Okay, so this looks to be a fruit mix, a freeze-dried fruit mix of some description. Uh, yep, it is a fruit mix. Just need to add a little bit of water to reconstitute it. And the last and final item is some jam. There we go. Okay, so... Do is we'll uh, take a look at this accessory packet now. Right, I've kept this bag out um, because I believe there's something in here that will go with it. So, as I said earlier in the video, we get four cups. Uh, and then I'll just shake everything out that's in the middle. So that's our cups. Okay, so you get uh, two packets of <clears throat> two chewing gum, uh, three 
coffee sweets, some vitamin C gum, oh, uh, third packet of chewing gum. Okay, so that's what I've got. Got uh, two plastic bags, uh, Ziploc bags for carrying stuff in. Uh, a trash bag, I think this is. Okay, uh, some napkins, I believe this is actually toilet paper. We've got napkins, it is toilet paper, I remember from before. We've got one, two, three, uh, wet naps, wet wipes, whatever you like to call them. We've got some water purification tablets, that's why I left these out. They go together, it's a really nice bag, it's one litre, uh, it's got a nice measuring line on it, <clears throat> English instructions on it, got four tablets. That uh, is an awesome size bag. I wish everybody would would take an, a note from that and um, include those gussets that stand up. It makes life so much easier. Then we've got one, two peppers, two salts, some sugar, and I'm guessing this will be coffee. Uh, in short, yeah, it's coffee. I can smell it through the packet. So that's, that's the accessory pack. Um, it's quite comprehensive. Uh, you do get quite a bit in there. Uh, as I say, I really love this. Love the two two carry handles with it as well. So you can just you know you can carry it around, stick your fingers through it, walk for some time. I mean, what's the what's the add water for unknown source fill to one liter line? Nice. It's got the measuring thing. For one liter of water, add one of the tablets, which is one of these. <coughs> Tight and waterproof zip. Leave it standing or hanging. There we go, so you can hang it off the floor somewhere. Water is ready to drink after 30 minutes from dissolution of the tablet. Uh, this is a, a local product to Poland as well, um, which is not always nice to see. So that is the SRG4 all unpacked. Um, so I guess we're going to start off with meal A, which I presume will be um be breakfast is there anything i can assume really um so yeah crack on with it so this is meal a that we're going for so to start off with we've got our utensils our cup with assorted stuff in uh, we've got a vitamin c sweet coffee extract sweet chewing gum and a wet nap some crisp breads, some honey. Um, I've gone for the cereal bar for breakfast. Some teeth breakers. A raspberry, <coughs> excuse me, a raspberry flavored iced tea drink. <coughs> Meatballs and the uh, lunch, lunch meat, pork and chicken. So now we've got that all set up. Let's, uh, let's start on it. Okay, to start off with, we're gonna make the, um, the, the drink. So let's pour it in. <laughs> Oh, that's really strong. It reminds me of um, Little Sweets called Millions Raspberry. But either way, let's get some of that in. Let's break this open. Spoon. Okay. Spoon. Stung that in that. Fill up with some water. Stir. The smell coming off this already is amazing. If it's anything like the lemon one was, it's amazing. Check, see if I can see any bits at the bottom. Nope, we're all clear. So 
that's what it looks like. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, I really like that. Probably added a little too much water. Um, but that, that, that is good. <clears throat> okay, so. Next, we do a bit of the, uh, the, the, the chicken. And pork. So let's get those off and open this up. Well, there we go. Yeah, just like I remembered it before. Uh, it's just like a, a pate sort of meat spreadable sort of thing. So let's get a few of these cracker breads out for it. Making a right old mess getting inside this. There we go. There we go, so we've got some cracker breads. Let's get a bit of this out. I mean, this is 100 grams, so there's quite a bit in here. So let's just try and Mash that down a tiny bit. Onto it. There we go. Let's give it a taste. Um, just like I've said in previous Polish videos, it's really nice. It's spreadable. It's a very filling part of the food. What I don't get is why you got that. <clears throat> all of this including the rest of the crackers and the big tin of meatballs. Um, and we'll, we'll, we'll come to that. Okay, so, do excuse me, I'm gonna have some more of that. All right, so we've got, we've had a bit of that and that was nice and filling. Let's have a bit more of this. The one thing I don't like is the cups, <laughs> really flimsy, but I guess they're only paper, aren't they, so. That's amazing. I drink that stuff all day long. All right, so next we're moving on to the meatballs in sauce. So I'm going to go and get these heated up uh, and then we'll come back and have a look at the uh, the honey and cereal bowl while we're waiting. So let me make. Okay, so while we're waiting for that to cook, I'm uh, going to move on with the fig bar. Uh, it's cranberry flavour. Um, I've had the fig before, not the cranberry. so. Looking forward to this. So the bar itself is covered in um, rice paper, um, compressed in the middle uh, with through the fruits of cranberries um, and oats and grains and so on. So. That's what it looks like. And let's see what this tastes like. Okay. A really strong taste of cranberries. The little bits of like oats and stuff in that go inside it's really nice. <clears throat> I do like these fruit bars, especially the rice paper on the outside and the grains in it. Really good. Do excuse me. Um that is amazing. <clears throat> I find all the fruit bars amazing. Cheers. Ah, that's good. That's really good. Okay. I think the uh, meatballs are nearly done. We'll give them a little longer. We'll have a look at this honey. It comes in its own little Ziploc bag. The smell from those meatballs is amazing. Okay, so that's that. And get the old uh, teeth breakers. The packets now 
These have got caraway seeds in them, if I remember rightly, from before. There we go, right, we're in. Okay, yep. And again, bloody old things. There we go. Right. So let's open this originally. It's, it looks like it's set a little bit. It smells am absolutely amazing though. Absolutely amazing. Just give it a little mix back up. Get the set parts back into the uh, the normal mix. Let's take a little bit off. Honey on a teeth breaker. Okay, a honey is really nice and sweet. Um, mix it with the, the caraway seeds, which is slightly a bitter of taste in these. Go extremely well. I mean, really, really well. Um, I could do another two or three pots of this, or the pot being a bit fuller. Um, and uh, yeah, I'd, quite ha I'd quite happily demolish those. So I'm gonna go and check on the meatballs. Uh, and I'll be coming back to you in a second. Okay, so I believe the meatballs are now done. So, bear me a moment. Now, I must warn you, I did cheat. I heated this up on the stove in the house. All right, so this is the meatballs in vegetables. Um, <clears throat> you get four four meatballs in there. So um, let's give one of these meatballs a try. Okay, so if you can see it, that's the inside of the meatball. It smells. Smells a bit like that, just hot. <laughs> so, um, that's exactly what it smells like and tastes like. That, but cooked. However, it is warm, and if it's cold out, you'd love it. So, that's not too bad. The uh, the sauce. Bear with me a second. Let me just the sauce itself. Let's have a taste. The sauce itself is really nice. It's like a rich gravy broth type flavour. What the vegetables like. Apart from being exceedingly hot, <clears throat> it's really good. Okay, so be really greedy. I'm gonna sit here and eat this. Back in a sec. Okay, well, that was tasty. Um, really filling as well. Between this, meatballs, crackers, um, with the honey, the cereal bar, the iced tea drink, and these, which by the way, these, the crisp breads go amazing in that. Um, help soak up the juice. They do go a bit soft and a bit mushy, but they're really nice. Um, this is a, a very well, this will keep you going through the day. Definitely till lunch. Um, and yeah, it's it, it will definitely keep going. So this was meal A. Uh, my favorite part, I think, would have to be the honey and the crackers, followed by the um, 
the, the cereal bar, the cranberry cereal bar. Um, and of course, the drink. It, it's just amazing. Okay. Um, the, the two meats come side by side together. Um, they are what they are. They're there to bulk up for breakfast. So you got something. Um, but yeah, so this was meal A. Uh, and uh, we'll get me meal B done. So this has been Iron Warning. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, uh, and drop us a comment. Uh, just let us know if you've watched it, if you enjoyed it. Uh, anything you thought could be changed just to make it a bit better so once again thanks for watching guys check out MRE Info and all the other YouTubers that do rational reviews and uh, support the community thanks so much guys see ya